Welcome back to the Cardigan Art Sketchbook Tours. This is number three, hence this little three thing that I hope will be on screen long enough to be a thumbnail in a second while I hold this here for a little bit. Um, this is the third sketchbook. Again, this is an A6, Dala Rowney or Dala Round A, or however you'd like to say it. A6 sketchbook, 150 GSM, it's ebony paper, so not bright white, and that's just the way I like it. So, quick recap. I use pencils, I use ink pens, I use watercolour paints every so often. Um, yes, I think this is a sketchbook where I start developing a more definite style, a more concrete, cohesive style as we go through. We've had a heart design, we've had a moon design. This is a band called the Washboard Resonators. You should absolutely check them out. They're brilliant. Um, as well as the Red Canary Dance Band, who uh, share a drummer in common. This is a... Um, Passport label. Number three. Off we go. When did I start this? 18th of March 2019. So about this time last year as of recording. I'm going to try and hold them at the same focal length. Here we go. Peter Rabbit, Squirrel Nutkin, straight off the bat. Um, Beatrix Potter characters, of course. Um, and I got this watercolour and ink study done um, just for fun, really. I've got all the books, or my mum has all the books on our family bookshelf. Uh, and I decided to do a quick study of each of them, or the main characters. So Peter Rabbit, Squirrel Nutkin, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, or Miss, or Ms, I don't know, I've not asked her, you shouldn't assume. And this is Jeremy Fisher, of course. Lovely. Not to be confused with Toad of Toad Hall, that's terribly insensitive. Was there another? No. And here's the start of my sort of ink oddities. So some sort of space age, steampunky style, electric wand little switch there, trying to figure out the actual mechanics of things, little plasma pistol, but at the same time this sort of wood panel to cook a pear, something like that. Here's more, Simpkin the house cat and the tailor of Gloucester, one of his mouse, making a little waistcoat for himself, one of his mice, sorry, that were in the walls, and of course they help him make that coat for the mayor when he's ill. Simpkin's not happy because uh, the tailor took the teapot and let the mouse away, he was saving that for his tea. When I say tea, I mean dinner. Jane Foster Thor. Hopefully she'll be coming back in Thor, Love and Thunder. When that gets released. Huzzah. Now, these won't make sense, really. But if you go to my Instagram and scroll down a bit, there's a ten pence there. There's a ten pence there. This one has the letter P, and it has a post box. And this one has the letter I, and the top of an ice cream. And these continued drawings from the coins themselves. I was very pleased with those. This is the start of, well, of me doing these little box signatures for a date and a signature as we go. Some anatomical oddities. Here we are. Let's get a bit closer and refocus. Bloop. Very good. Well done, camera. April 2019. I spy. Here's a sing. Something's afoot. Some bad puns. TARDIS. Console. Double page spread. Get focus in, camera. Boop. Press it with my nose. There we go. Switches, levers, clarinet bits. Big plunging... Uh, uh, plunges, I suppose, levers, pulleys, bulbs, switches, bop it, pull it, twist it, spin it, turn, upgrade it. Some sonic screwdrivers up in there for, uh, yeah, Easter eggs, buttons. I like this one. I really like the pencil shadows to give it a bit of depth. There's that console drawn up properly. There's that console drawn up in context of a library TARDIS. Some swing dancers and a little knight called Marjorie. Thor. This was after Infinity War. And I, I drew Thor, the ultimate Thor. And again, little square signature there, all in ink. Not my finest, but I was quite pleased with it. Some more Marvel characters. Iron Spider, uh, Iron Heart, X-23, Wolverine's daughter in some of them, Kid Nova, and Miles Morales, Spider-Man. July 19, so we're crushing through summer now. Cardigan art, as you can see there. This I clearly never finished. It's the malted milk biscuit outline. Poor thing, can't even get focused. Ready to watercolour. Now this is another one of those 10 Ps. This was W, it had a web coming out from the centre and these little critters on the web around it. I was very pleased with this B, the texture I got on that one. See if I can get a closer look at that. Hmm, near enough, there we go, lovely. Some little absent-minded sketches. There's my friend William, there we are, lovely. And a duck and an elephant and somebody not understanding. That's my friend Nina. I spent far too long trying to get her eyes right. 
various sketches, some apocalypse, glam apocalypse, I do apologise, designs there, on a beetle, on a chariot made out of utes, pulled by war boys, and several bikes strapped together. Little telly bot, some little concept thumbnails up there, I might come back to that. Whack. Now, I actually have these here. You may have noticed them on my desk in the previous vi videos. Videos. Might have noticed them. Sheffield steel cheese knife, that. Can't complain. Look at those. Beautiful. I really like cutlery. This is the sort of thing I like to sketch. And there we go. And a little 50 pence. That in the, uh, in the photographed version, I had that little 50 pence with it to go through. Carrying on. That's me on a day off. These cut-out pages were those glam apocalypse prints that went to Sans Pants Radio. Life gets a lot on your plate, we could all do with a spoon. Oh, Pinterest, Instagram, hire me. Here's some anatomy of a mermaid. Classic old mermaids. Classic like sirens summon you to the deep sort of mermaids. I miss a mermaid. Yeah, that was a trend. Do you remember that? And then painted up, of course, into their full thing. The idea here was that Above the water, you'd think, wow, what a beautiful siren lady. And then below the water, you'd see their actual prehistoric style um, anatomy. There's another sketch of the fish people. Blub, blub, blub. There we are. Extra little sketches, some faces, some figures, a cat, a spaceman, some tardigrades. Spidey, jump off a wall, swing under a bridge. Swoosh. Hand practice. Too much blue in this shadow, but I like it anyway. There's another brighter one. A bit more minimalist. I tried to do shadows of the signature box there as well. Sableye, the best Pokemon. Very messy sketches. Sadly departed gentleman, Hellbeast, Lionel Loman. And a sketch of our other cat, Wolf, one of our other cats. Some logo designs. Limp Lamp Lump. I watched Mary Poppins again. Absolutely charming. It's a jolly holiday. Paddington overdid this one. Too much paint, but I still quite like it. See those eyes flashed at you. <laughs> Jemima Puddle Duck. Keeping on the theme from earlier in the book. From the start of the book, Jemima Puddle Duck there. Put her in a lavender cloak. Some extra Spidey sketches. I actually base these on photo reference of gymnasts and free runners to try and get some actual real human poses of movement as well. That one's ink. That one's ink and a brush pen. That one's ink and lots of saturated pencils. My motorbike, GS500, and like a <laughs> parallel universe version. Quite pleased with this one, Spider-Man, my Spider-Sona and my Spider-Gwen, or my interpretation of it in watercolour. July 2019. A portrait of Matt Stewart, Australian comedian and uh, primates, podcast host. Do go on. And of course, getting fruity with Matt and the boys. He's the Matt of the Matt and the boys. Little techno squirrel, tiny binary, don't know if you can see that. And a little hover bee there. Lovely, lovely. Ladybirds. This was another one based on a 10p. This was E this time for English. Full English breakfast or thereabouts. Limp lamp lump. Words to live by. Space cat. We love space cat. Various different cats at the top there. I just had that image in my head and I decided to go with it. Little tiny sketches of me there. Little concept sketches of toes that later got less terrifying and made into a little book. A recumbent motor bicycle. Lovely. And that was me trying to work out the perspective of it over a couple of pages. Messy biro sketches. But you get the idea with that one. And some little spidey sketches. Again, I use these for anatomy more than anything and a bit of sort of motion practice. I was quite pleased with the buttocks on this boy. There we go. Lovely. This I did for uh, Fantastic Brick on Instagram. This was from a photo of, of Midway Transformation, of course. Quite pleased with the little texture on the wine glass there. Watercolour layers, ink layers, evil cat. Very good. Pleased with that. A broomstick made from oak with a, a belch flame charm in the, in the root there. Little teapot coming out. I believe this is nearing summer. Yeah, we're in August now. Portrait of my mother, of my mum. There's mum. Paper again to stop it rubbing. A statue near Battersea called Awakening. Oh, it is in Battersea, Roper's Garden. Little comic strip. Pause to read. Yep, cool, funny, funny. 
lino print of a cat and an, a just as beautiful representation there. A little bicycle, motor bicycles. A dragon concept where the flame came out. No wings, but the flame came from various uh, appendages. That's my name again. He's only as small as a bird, look, bless him. Some magical items that I drew with my young cousins down in London. This is when I went to Wales shortly after. Kapelkurig. My accent is no good for Welsh. And a little Welsh broomstick made with slate. And that little daffodil. Kenny Pedra. I don't know my accent there. And my cousin's cat. And that's the book. Lovely, that was number three. That's a long video. Now, we'll probably try and combine in the next one. 3.5 and number four. So, join me again for the last one. See you there. Bye.